Okay, this is as much an experiment with my coding as it is a lesson. I've created a new little morphic thingy called Visual Collections Morph, and you'll see what it does in a second. I wanted to tr I want to try to illustrate what happens when you do certain things. In this case, with a collection object called an array. We create a new array with six objects. They automatically get the value nil, which is basically an object that gives you a warning that you don't have any um, real values put into your uh, objects, in this case, the array of six. So let's uh, make D equal to the symbol D. And now you see we, we're this code here puts the value D into the second slot of the array. Now we're going to put in the fourth slot 10 factorial. And sure enough, you see it. And the fifth slot, we're going to put a 5. And you can see the 5 went there. We could as well. Actually, the, it went into the third slot. Now at the fifth slot, we're going to put the results of the addition array at 3 plus array at 4. And when we do it, it puts the value into that slot. And of course, if we wanted to, we could a array at 5 and do it. And if we were to print it, we would see that it is indeed 36,200 or 3,628,805 and in fact you can see from the diagram that we're retrieving that value and giving us the output wherever that output happens to be a variable or just the text on the screen or whatever notice I'm using the connectix package so, you know, if you only created a new array with no values, it would create an array of size 0. And if you tried to actually access it, it would give you an error. Subscript is out of bounds. In fact, there's no size, no slot available. So even if you put array at 0, it, it would still say subscript out of bounds, but I've got a problem here and it actually tries to uh, do something with it. So let's uh, mark that up as a bug that I have to fix, but other than the bug, you can see this might be a useful teaching tool. Once I get that bug fixed. So hopefully you can see a little bit about what's going on and you can see where I'm heading with this tool. I'd like feedback on the tool if you would. Thank you.